What's up guys, Truth for Gamer 88 back at you with another video and as you guys know today is Wednesday which is my tech days. I hope you guys are enjoying your week so far and you had a good weekend. To start the video off, I'm thinking about doing a doing taste testing maybe once a week, a couple times a week in the videos depending on how you guys do. And later tonight if you guys are interested, I'm thinking about taste testing this. I saw this in Walmart and I haven't tried this yet. This is the new limited edition white fudge covered Oreos that just came out. And, well, at least it just came out in my area. And I'm thinking about doing a taste test on these. If you guys are interested, definitely let me know. Because if you guys are interested in seeing my reaction about doing the taste testing for this, I will definitely do it later on tonight in my video. Or if you guys don't want to see it on my tech days and you want to see it on a different day, comment below. Definitely let me know. And please, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Please hit that like button and please subscribe. If you guys want, please hit that notification button as well. If you guys want to get updates on whenever I'm doing my videos, whenever I'm going to be doing more giveaways... Um, not this month, well, maybe not this month, you know, like I said, next month, I'm going to try to do another giveaway. If I can hit 100 subscribers by the end of this month, I will do a giveaway in January. I'm not, I got a few different ideas on what kind of video, I, what kind of giveaway I want to do in January, provided I hit my 100 subscribers. So if you guys definitely want to stay tuned to that, definitely let me know. And if you want to see this taste test later on, let me know as well later on today. I'm just going to put that up here. So today, as you guys know, last week, I received an Xbox One X from Hellsberg Diamonds, big thank you to you guys again. And I still have my One S, um, which I'm gonna, now I'm gonna be doing something with that. Uh, but I figured now would be the perfect time to do a comparison on the two systems. So for to start my tech today, we're gonna be doing the comparison on the Xbox One X and the Xbox One S. We're gonna be doing the different comparison in terms of the graphics how it handles on the Xbox One X compared to the One S and the overall design. So we're going to start with the S, guys. We're going to start with the older model. As you guys can tell, I have the white Minecraft edition to the S. It is a very slim design to the one for the Xbox One S. It has the vent here. It has a vent on top, a vent along the sides, a vent along the back. If you guys also know, we have the one USB port in the front of the system. And we have, I believe, three other, two other USB ports in the back with two other HDMI cables, the power cable, and the additional ports on the side along with the white on top here for where it says Xbox for the 1S. There's a very slick design, smooth on top, vented area on the side, which I think is nice. That way you're not restricted in case you have your Xbox inside of an entertainment center. Um, you have the vents on the side and you have the vents on top. So the ventilation system is very nice. I'm not sure if this part right here is a vent, but it does have that graded design right here, which is very, very nice. And then we have the controller as well, which is the white Minecraft Edition controller. I'm sorry I don't have the original back, but you guys can tell it's just the standard white design. The buttons here, um, you know, it has the charger port right here. It has the any, uh, it has the headphone jack here and the uh, port here for a headset. I'm sorry. Um, so that is for the Xbox One S. To do a comparison here, now we have the Xbox One X, the powerhouse of Microsoft, guys. First, we're going to start with the controller. If you guys can tell, there's really not a big difference with the controller, that at least that you can see. But there is a textural difference. On the One S controller, it is just, you know, the flat standard plastic design. On the One X, however, it is a much smoother slick right here on the design of the controller and it does have the additional you know it does have the standard pads here the additional buttons other than that not much is very different it does have the two ports here on the side with the charger port on top xbox right here on the side and the spot to put the batteries of course if you're using duracell or using rechargeable batteries that's definitely the way to go and on the one x design itself as you can tell there is a difference there is no vent on top it is an extremely nice slick design on the top of the xbox one x um there is no type of vent or graded design on the front it does have the usb charger here with the power with the power button as well along with the nice slick design that comes across here and the vents do come across the side of it and it does have the back as well with the additional usb ports the high definition hdmi cable and power cable with the graded side here and the difference between the One S and the One X, however, is you have the graded design on the bottom of the Xbox One X, which is very, very nice. I know a lot of people are like, well, it's, you know, it's going to be sitting down. Or if you have the vertical stand, then you'll notice you can appreciate the design they have. I believe these are hand put on here, I believe. If I remember from the videos, if you can take a closer look, you can see that you have the graded designs that are all along the side of the system. 
that are not on the one s and like i said back to the slick design on here so if you guys want to take a personal look we have the one x and we have the one s not much if you can tell in terms of thin design the one x is a little bit slimmer than the one s not by much i'd say maybe about a quarter of an inch and it does come out about a quarter of an inch in the front more than the one s does which is fine considering the power that it has inside of it and if you guys notice here on the one s it is all flat it is all flat on both sides of the one s if you guys notice you want to take a look at that whereas opposed to the one x however it is flat on one side but it does have this divot here on the other on the left side of the system where it divots right here and then it comes in for the more slicker design port and if you guys also notice i'm sorry to put this out sooner but it, of course it does have the cd drive right there in front so if you guys want to take a look in terms of the comparison of the xbox one x which is here and the xbox one s besides the overall controller designs are very similar you have the difference between the grates here on the front the grates being on the side that doesn't have that this is an entire slick design on top and the one s is the half slick half grit well about 80 percent graded and then the other 20 percent is slick for the system in terms of difference i wish i could have done a side-by-side -side comparison for you guys in terms of a regular hd tv which is going to be 1080p for the one s and the 8 4k high ultra high definition tv for the xbox one x there is a huge difference i stressed that the last time i did a video trust me there's a difference in the last video that i did on whether or not the xbox one x was worth it i stated i did not have a i personally did not have a one x at that point i was completely unaware that i was going to be getting the one x from hellsburg diamonds and now that i actually had a hands-on experience it is phenomenal guys I, I am blown away by this product i know it is 4.99 i know you guys are thinking you know it's a high price point but if you already have a 4k tv pay that extra hundred dollars compared to the one s to one x so extra two hundred dollars depending on the bundle that you get because i know that uh for 3.99 right now you can get the minecraft limited edition one s that's on the microsoft site if you guys want to check that out this is just the white minecraft edition for the one s there is a limited edition minecraft um xbox one s that has the full minecraft design and the minecraft controller which is very very nice i'll, I'll cover that on a separate video but there is a huge difference guys there is a huge huge difference in terms of specs in here and specs in the one s that has the smaller slicker design this one um i noticed the one s is a little bit heavier not by much compared to the one s but it is worth it guys it is definitely definitely worth it in terms of games in terms of games that are going to that i played on the one s i played minecraft i played halo i've played gears of war um i played a couple of other you know paladins a couple of other games that are on the one s in terms of games on the one x that made a huge difference in the 4k picture conan exiles absolutely absolutely amazing conan exiles on the one x is beautiful in 4k Halo 5 Enhanced Edition for the One X is absolutely stunning in terms of picture. In terms of people who play MMO um, massive arena games, Smite was enhanced for the Xbox One X in their previous update. And there is a big difference. I won't say huge, but there is a big difference in terms of texture, in terms of overall area design and the artwork, and in terms of the character design. You do notice a big textural difference in the One X compared to the One S in terms of smite um for you guys that want to take advantage of that i have not played assassin's creed origins yet but assassin's creed origins on the xbox one x from what i've seen compared to the one s is stunning that's probably the most beautiful graphic graphically designed games that is out right now so if you want to get that bang for your buck if you're new to the xbox one x and you have it and you want to know what games you want to do what games you can get your hands on then i'm definitely going to show you that 4k high definition picture i would go to conan exiles assassin's creed origins you know halo 5 those are my personal three favorites you can buy whatever other games you want there are other xbox one x enhanced games like call of duty world war world of warfare um i'm world of warfare i believe i might have gotten that name wrong <laughs> i'm so sorry but there is a one x edition enhanced edition that also has beautiful graphics not that the xbox one s does not have graphics guys the xbox one s is a very beautiful system in its own right 
and does have that 1K, you know, and does have beautiful games that are on there for you guys that already know about the other Xbox games. So if you're asking if there's a huge difference between the One X and the One S, in terms of specs, there is. Be careful when you're on the marketplace, guys, because if you're on the marketplace, there is a difference between the One, the Xbox games and the Xbox One X enhanced games. Look for the enhanced that says it in the marketplace. Those are the games that are already boosted in 4K for the One X. So if you have a One X and you're in the marketplace, if you're buying a game, if it does not say enhanced on it, it might not play, I don't believe at all, it will play in 4K. It will play the boosted picture, but it won't have that extended 4K experience because it wasn't enhanced already by the developers. More and more developers are going to be putting games out as the enhanced section. As I said in my previous videos, there are 162 games that are confirmed enhanced Xbox One games that are going to be coming out. So take advantage of that, guys. Definitely look at it. Like I said, be careful on the Microsoft Place. Xbox is very, very good with refunds. So in the event that you buy something on your Xbox One X that doesn't say enhanced, call up Microsoft. Tell them you bought the wrong one. You know They'll apologize for the experience, and they will refund you immediately. And you should be able to get the, the same game but the enhanced edition. So be careful when you're buying games. I did want to do another. I did want to do the comparison for you guys. If you guys want to take one final look before the end of the video, like I said, you know, in terms of controller designs, in terms of graphics designs, is slick along the front, slick. But if you notice, right at this area is when you get that graded design on the One S that is not on the One X. Move the controllers here. If you notice, a very very slick, all flat design on Xbox. It says Xbox right here for the One X. Xbox again on the One S. It only has that little space right here that is the slick design. And then it has the graded vintage section that hooks all the way around to the system. Like I said, it has full grates, full vented, excellent ventilation on the One S. That way you guys have a full comparison here. And then the controller as well. There isn't a difference between the controllers between the Xbox One and the Xbox One X. There is a difference on the Elite controllers, obviously. Unfortunately, I'm not made of money. I don't have one of the Elite controllers. I might get one. I don't know. I don't really see the difference. Maybe. No difference on the controllers, but like I said, if you guys want to do another close-up, it does have the entire very nice slick design on the One X. And if you turn, that's when you hit your grate, and that's when you hit your vents. And it has a small vent on here, it has the huge vent in the back with a smaller vent on top, and then more ventilation on the side with the continual graded design on the bottom of the system as well. So if you have the stand for the One X, it's going to be sitting like that, so you guys can see what it looks like when it's on its stand. It looks very, very nice. It is a beautiful system, and though it does not have as much ventilation area in terms of vents compared to the One S, do not worry about that. This system is extremely, extremely quiet, and the week that I've had this system, you can't even tell that it's on. So like I said, that's what it looks like standing up if you have the X. If you guys want, I'll do a little comparison for you. And this is what the S looks like standing up. I'm not sure. I think they have the vertical stands for the S as well. I know they definitely have them in the X. So if you got the Xbox One Scorpion Edition, that came with the stand. And actually, I do know, I, I know for a fact that the One S has come with the stand because the Minecraft Limited Edition system that's on the Microsoft Place right now has a stand that comes with that system for the One S. This is just the $500 edition, the 500 gigabyte edition, I'm sorry, for the One S. So I do not have the one terabyte edition, whereas this does have the automatic one terabyte edition for the One X. So thank you guys for tuning in for my in-depth video compared on the Xbox One S and the Xbox One X comparison in terms of how I felt about it in terms of picture comparison when I played on regular HD and 4K, 4K high definition Ultra HD there is a huge difference guys and like I said be careful when you're shopping for games if you're new on the Xbox One X because in the marketplace enhanced will be in 4K where it's supposed to regular will just be in high definition so please be careful when you're purchasing those games guys Thank you for tuning in. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe. I do appreciate all the support. I know a lot of you guys, I know the 15 subscribers are on my page. A few of you guys have been very, very supportive in terms of telling me, you know, feedback and appreciating my channel and my content. I greatly appreciate that, guys. I really, really do. Like I said, I'm going to do the taste test early later on today. If you guys want to see me do the taste test on the limited edition white fudge covered Oreos, I'm a huge Oreos fan. I love Oreos. I do. I have to calm down on that because I don't want to get fat. I'm already fat. I'm not going to stop eating these damn Oreos. 
So if you guys want to see me do the taste test on these Oreos, guys, definitely let me know below in the comments. If you want to see me do another tech video, well, I'm going to be doing another tech video later on this evening. What do you guys want to see me do for that tech video? I have a few ideas in mind. If you guys have something in particular that you would very that you would very much like me to do that you have not purchased yet, that you're looking into for the holiday season, or maybe even afterwards, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you later this evening with my second tech video of the day.